Till now, we know that a linear equation is represented by a straight line. But now how to draw such a straight line? How to actually draw the graph of a linear equation in two variables? So that's something we are going to study in this lecture. That is drawing the graph of a linear equation in two variables. Now how to plot the solutions of a linear equation on a graph paper? We know that a linear equation is represented by a straight line. Now how to plot solutions of a linear equation on a graph paper? How to actually plot all the solutions of linear equation? So let us say that we have a linear equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now this is a linear equation in two variables x and y and a, b, c are real numbers. Now let us say that we have two points a and b and a and b both being the solutions of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So if we have got two points a and b and these two points represent the solution of this linear equation. Now let's draw a line joining these two points. Let us say that this is the line that joins the solutions a and b. Now on this line we can have infinitely many such points. Now all these points are actually the solutions of this equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So what we can say that all the points representing various solutions lie on the line passing through a and b. So we can say that if we try to find out all the solutions of this equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0 then all these solutions would actually be represented on this line. Even we can extend these lines and, and these solutions would actually lie on this line. So every point represented on this line is actually a solution of the equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So all the solutions of this equation can be represented on this line. So we can say that a linear equation in two variables is geometrically represented by a line such that every solution of the linear equation represents a point on the line and every point on the line is actually a solution of the linear equation. So we can say that a linear equation in two variables is actually a line such that every solution of the linear equation is a point on this line and every point on the line is actually a solution of the linear equation. This is the geometrical meaning of linear equation in two variables. Now let us see the algorithm to find out how to draw the graph of a linear equation. So the first step is obtain the linear equation. Let us say that the equation is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So we obtain the linear equation and let us say that this linear equation is of the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0. In the second step express y in terms of x to get y equal to minus of ax plus c whole divided by b. So when we express y in terms of x then we get the expression of y as equal to minus of ax plus c whole divided by b. In the third step what we do is give any two values to x and calculate the corresponding values of y from the expression obtained in step 2. So let us say that the obtained two solutions are alpha 1 comma beta 1 and alpha 2 comma beta 2. If possible choose integral values of x in such a way that the corresponding values of y are also integers. So in this step what we do is we have obtained the expression of y from the second step and we put two values of x. So correspondingly we will get two values of y and let us say that such two values are alpha 1 comma beta 1 and alpha 2 comma beta 2. Now these two are the solutions of this equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Also choose integral values of x in such a way that the values of y obtained are also integers so as to get integral solutions that would actually make our work easier. In the fourth step what we do is plot the points alpha 1 comma beta 1 and alpha 2 comma beta 2 on the graph paper on a suitable scale. So choosing a suitable scale we plot these two points alpha 1 comma beta 1 and alpha 2 comma beta 2. These two are the solutions of the equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. And in the fifth step draw a line passing through the points marked in step 4. So when we have marked these two points then draw a line joining these two points. The lines obtained is the graph of the equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. 
So the line that joins these two points alpha 1 beta 1 and alpha 2 beta 2 is actually the graph of the equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So once again first we obtain the equation then in the second step we write y in terms of x. In the third step we assign two values to x and correspondingly we obtain two values of y. We choose such integral values of x so as to get integral values of y. In the fourth step what we do is we plot these two points alpha 1 comma beta 1 and alpha 2 comma beta 2 and in the last step we join these two points by a line. This line is actually the graph of the equation ax plus py plus c equal to 0.